that Friday, I was with my daughter, and then they came to tell me that it's possible that you'll get the you'll get the transplant later tonight or tomorrow morning. And then they asked me if I wanted to participate in this in this study. I said I wanted to do it because I'm, I'm an engineer and I find it very interesting. Later that night. Doctor said uh, the drone is going to be coming in soon. The lungs are on their way. And then he went and got up, went to a phone, and he came back and said, "Your lungs have arrived." Have arrived. Can we make the organ better than the way we found it? Can we actually improve it? What we have done is built a system where we actually transport donor lungs to the repair center repair them on ex vivo uh, perfusion, and then transport them to the transplant center. We get a, an offer for a donor in the middle of the night, and then multiple organs need to be placed to try and book planes to coordinate uh, all of these different transplants. So you can imagine that being a lot simplified if you just have drones and, and program them to deliver the organ. The organ is put in a liquid solution, which serves as sort of a shock absorber. On top of that, we added a custom-made case made out of carbon fiber material, which has been designed to uh, minimize any vibration loads associated with the drone transport. And then finally, we have electronics that reports on the health of the organ along the way. We are developing drones that can fly up to very close to 400 kilometers. We hope that would allow organs to be flown across large distances anywhere in the world. The recovery from the operation is going good, progressing as, uh, as predicted. We saw the film of the dro drone landing on the hospital over here, and that was just amazing. And I saw that it had my lungs in it that were coming. That was just amazing to see on video.